on the left hand side. On this problem, which is problem number nine on packet number one, we have h of x is a function 2 to the x divided by 2 to the x plus 1. First part in part a, it says the limit as x approaches infinity of h of x. Well, the way to consider this problem is we could think about the fact that out at infinity, adding 1, it just doesn't matter because infinity is so big, adding 1 to it is not going to matter whatsoever. So our function h of x is equivalent to 2 to the x divided by 2 to the x and leaving off the plus 1. And something 2 to the x divided by 2 to the x, well, that's something divided by itself, which is 1. So the limit, if h of x is just essentially 1, then the limit as x approaches infinity of h of x, well, that's going to be 1. Likewise, since our function h of x is effectively 1, as the limit of h of x goes, as x goes to negative infinity of h of x, it's going to be 1 as well. So what do I have on my graph? Well, if I consider this spot to be 1, I am going to have an asymptote, a horizontal asymptote that is going to be at y equals 1. Now the question is, what's the graph of h of x equal? If we are on the short run instead of the long run, our n behavior is these two functions. This creates our n behavior. But what happens when it's closer, when the function's closer in towards 0? Well, what is h of 0? h of 0 would be 2 to the 0, which is 1, divided by 2 to the 0, which is 1 plus 1, so it's a half. So at 0, I'm going to have a point here. Now you can plug in as many points as you like, but from this amount of information, I know that this is actually going to be the minimum of the function. Because if I, I can already go and say, that's going to be the bottom, and this function has to approach my limits. Now, if it doesn't make sense to you as to why I know that's the minimum, just give that some consideration, plug in some points, and prove it to yourself.